A big part of creativity is nothing more than problem solving. And there are infinite ways to solve the problem. You can go with the standard solution that you've done before or the common solutions that a bunch of other people are doing. But the most interesting solutions and the most interesting creative projects always seem to come when your options are limited. Constraints breed creativity. I had to submit a photo of myself recently for my music bed playlist and I realized that considering how much I film myself, I have hardly any photos of myself. So my first instinct was to just do what I always do, stand on a cliff somewhere at golden hour and get some Instagram bangers. There's nothing wrong with that approach, but I just, I do that so often that it's kind of become a crutch for me. So instead of doing what I'm used to and comfortable with, I want to stretch my creativity a bit. So I'm going to force myself to only take photos inside the van and hopefully come up with three different self portraits that I'm happy with. Anytime I start filming or taking photos or just start any creative project, there's this initial phase where it feels like I just have no clue what I'm doing. I'm kind of just floundering. Okay, this is proving to be harder than I thought it would be. Should have expected that. <laughs> It'd be cool if I was actually waxing my board right now, but it's really hard to multitask. Okay, honestly, I'm not that stoked on how any of the snowboard shots are turning out. I don't know if it's because the board is an obnoxious purple green, or if it's the angle, I'm not sure. These first photos I got are fine. They're nothing I'm, I'm super proud of, but what they really were good for was just to get the ball rolling and to start to get me into that creative flow state. So now the sun's a little lower in the sky, so I think I'm gonna try and get some, either some harsh shadows or some backlight shots with me sitting in the front seat. Um, just keep playing around and see what I get. Since the sun's coming in so directly through the windshields, it's kind of just like silhouetting me completely. So I'm wondering if I can set up a way, if I use my window insulators, maybe I can bounce some light back at me. This is getting serious now. That just might work. Okay, those photos hopefully turn out really good. That felt a lot better. It definitely kind of proved my initial theory that <laughs> shooting in a limited space forced me to get creative because I have never played around with taking photos with a light bounce and backlight. By limiting my options, I was forced to make that work and I'm stoked on it. Hopefully I'm still stoked when I start editing the photos. Feeling good, I just want to get one more photo, which is as soon as the sun sets and we've got like a, a blue hour sunset situation going on, I want to try and get me working at my computer with the computer kind of lighting my face and the sunset in the background. I'm trying to sneak in one photo here really quick while the light is just perfect. Running out of time quick. I feel like those might actually be really sick also. <laughs> it started out really rough with the snowboard shots, but now I'm stoked on both this computer shot and the backlight shot, so I think this was a success. I'm the type of person that gets overwhelmed pretty easily, especially when it comes to creative work, when there's infinite possibilities and infinite ways to do things. So I just cannot recommend this enough. If you're struggling to get started or to do something creative that you've been wanting to do, just put a whole bunch of constraints on it. Keep it extremely simple. I guarantee that'll make it easier and it just, it really helps your creativity so much. So if you didn't already notice, all of the photos in this video were edited with my new Lightroom presets that I just put for sale on my website. And if you're still watching this video, I really appreciate you being here. I set up a discount code for you. 
Um, if you use the code keep it simple at checkout, I'll do 25% off of those presets. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for being here. I'll see you soon. Thank you.